Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to some more of my Let's Play of Civ 5 at the Marathon Game Pace. So, where we last left off, uh, we were mainly just managing uh, my cities. We'd wiped out Korea. So, uh, I'm reminding everyone once again that everything besides score and domination is uh, turned off. I don't really have to worry about this game at all at this point. Um, I have the highest score easily. Um, I'd say that I have a fair shot at winning now, even without the uh, all the other stuff. But, you know, because I have all the other victory conditions turned off, I can really take my time and really enjoy this game. Because for me, the end game always, always, always was rushed, unless I was going for domination victory. And only I could do that if basically it was 1v1 towards the end there. So anyway, um, yeah, I think the plan more or less is making sure all my cities have whatever they need. We're going to get the CN Tower built, which will help. I have lots of happiness at the moment, which is good. I need all that happiness. Uh, we're still building stuff up. All I need is... All, my next target is pretty much going to be uh, Polynesia because they, they hate me the most. Uh, China and France actually really like me. So there's no real reason for me to declare war on them. There's no real reason for me not to either, I guess, but... You know, anyway, I also want to wait until I can get up to the Pentagon so I can upgrade my troops for relatively cheaper. I don't think it's being built in right. We're building the Sydney Opera House here as well. So, yeah, we got lots of stuff going on. Nothing. So, yeah, it's more or less just trying to rush through these turns and hoping my computer can continue to process at a decent pace. I wouldn't mind being attacked, but, you know. Actually, do I even have the largest army yet? No, I'm second place in soldiers. China actually is a decent amount ahead of me. Uh, which just is pure numbers, I would assume. Although, it'll be quite interesting to see it. But I, I would lo love to have this huge army that more or less I can send over and kind of do a pincer on her. Like over here. While I'm while I'm sending all my other troops up from down here on this continent after I take out some of Polynesia cities. But for that, I'd really like uh, satellites so I can see exactly uh, what everybody's got. We got lots of stuff around the city we can work on. And that movement through, like, forests and jungle tiles is really helpful. And, right, you know what I think I did with you is I bought you so that you could work on the tiles around my capital because I have a lot of tiles that really aren't improved at all. So, yeah, let's see. Let's go over here. Trading post or food. Uh, you know what? I'd rather have the food. Growth is a little bit better. If you're wondering why I haven't like told all my workers to automate, it's because I own territory more than one continent. They'll tend to go over to like a con another continent, and it just wastes lots of time when there's other stuff they can be doing. And I have plenty of workers already over there that I captured. Oh, you don't have railroad. Right, you got a railroad down. Plenty of workers down here. It looks like everybody's got a railroad, which is nice. You guys got two workers down there. You got a worker up there. Oh, right, I was going to throw my own city over here, I think. One, two, three, that was going to grab that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have... Do I have a... I definitely threw a settler down here. In fact, this place is growing fast, which is kind of nice. No, that's actually nice. But anyway. Um, ha ha, lame puns. Yeah, I don't actually have... Anyways, I'll go ahead and just purchase a worker down here. Ain't cheap, but whatever. Um, because I'm going to do that... These are all red roads. Good. So you're going to come here. And you're going to build a route to here. I just don't like that location. Like this oil, I have plenty of oil. It's only far away from Seattle, which I imagine is going to have a decent culture output. Which looks good. Let's see what we have here. Besides my submarine, I got no other naval. I've got definitely got enough, I think, to take. Yeah, three artillery will be enough to take Honolulu. It'll take probably about a size 100 city, or defense 100 city. Anyway. Okay, now she's left a bunch of her troops going away now, which is kind of nice. Um, I 
it really depends on what I do. And that really depends on the map. So basically just rushing for the map. Getting the map open might be a bit of a larger priority. Let's see what do I have queued up. Uh, I've got... Yeah, we're going. We're shooting straight for satellites, and I want that for the uh, reveals the entire map. But also, I can build the Hubble Space Telescope. I'll have lots of science. The two scientists will help me pop the uh, great engineers a little bit earlier. I'm also gonna spend my my faith eventually to um, eventually to buy another great scientist, or maybe I should use him to spread my religion. As so we have the holy city for Hinduism here, but this is all Islam. Wow. But yeah, spreading it down here would probably be a little bit helpful. And you guys want me to put a city up here, eh? Now see, I'm just in disagreement because that is just conflicting with all of these other tiles that all of these other cities have access to. Like maybe on the top, if this city... Like if this city was over here, I could plop a city over there comfortably. But that is not like a, like a have-to-be-there city. Yeah, see, this city is just good enough. It has everything that I need. And I don't really need lots of cities so much as I just need the resources. Just a huge monopoly on them. Make sure we get plenty of uranium. So we can build nukes and nuclear plants and really, like, boost production everywhere. Uh, trading post. Let's see, I get two food or two gold. Yeah, the two gold plus one science, considering that's the only thing, the other thing there is production. I think it's not a bad idea. Alright, I don't need to build the broadcast tower. The, yeah, the CN the tower is going to help me out so much with my culture. And it'll just help me out with everything. And Mecca, are you making great people? Two, none, and two. So not enough to really warrant uh, making a garden. Stable will probably only be like one production, so that's not really worth it either. The armory would be good if I need to build military units. But building the medical lab will probably be a little bit better. Help the city growth overall. I don't think I really have to worry about the, uh... Yeah, we'll do that. It's rid of the farm, which, or the food from that tile, which kind of sucks, but... I want me that uranium. I should probably look into... That was kind of odd. A little bit of feedback there, I think. Uh, I should probably look into getting my happiness just as, like, as in insanely high as I can. Any man who can drive... Sec Let's see. No, see, I want to put farms on the at least the riversides because they provide the most food. So basically they can supply two population if, they got, if they're working that tile. So... That's just my logic behind it. Trading posts can go on like tiles that aren't on rivers. Oh, this oil is actually in range. A little bit of oil. Probably build the Pentagon uh, in the Grand River. Oh yeah, I got great war bombs. Alright, I was going to have them attack over here. I, can I should be able to upgrade them, but I'm going to wait till I get the Pentagon. Okay, um, do I have, like, Crystal Redentar? I probably do. In fact, I think I did. I think I recall rec saving up my policies. Was it the city that I built? Yeah. I have no real reason to save my culture. So, I can finish up Rationalism and get two free tags, or I can finish up Order. Now, I think I decided to go finish up Order first. Because, like, the plus two food and cult and science and stuff will help me out. Whereas, finishing up and getting the two free techs. Yeah, that will be more expensive later on anyway. Yeah. The techs later on will be more expensive. So, we're just going to go ahead and grab, uh... We're going to finish up order as soon as possible. And it's only 37 turns without all these broadcast towers, which is going to be amazing. Okay. Get done with that. Oh, we got jungle tile over there. Oh, and there's uranium over there. I'll hit soon. Now, see, because this is jungle, 
I'm gonna build a training post here. That's like the one time I think I'll make a diff I'll, I'll kind of differentiate between the two. And that is because it'll provide extra science. So it ends up providing more resources than a farm would. And yeah, I want the city here. Because you'll have access to all that uranium. And you'll just more or less just have access and cut off this area from like someone else settling a city there. Okay, we want the longhouse built. So maximize production, maximizes everything else. At least that's what I've found. How much money am I getting from religion? Just 89? Okay, Moscow. Okay, I could build the medical lab in Moscow. I actually you know it has a lot of food. Helping it grow faster would be better. So I'm going to go ahead and build that there. And then we'll start building nothing but naval units from there. Because I don't think there's anything else I really need building-wise. There's uranium? Well, we'll get it eventually. Units to my board as soon as I uh, don't accept that. Gallon gun, dang. Uh huh. Yeah, everyone now demands. Oh, guess what? Ivory. Guess what I got? Ivory. Right? Yeah. So I got every single luxury resource on the map right now, somehow, one way or another. Public skulks, it gives me happiness. Boost in science never hurts. La France t'offre cette promotion. Yes, I will be friends with one person and one person only. Which means I'm gonna be friendly with China too. But I think Polynesia is like the kind of like the bigger person I need to get rid of because he has the biggest presence on my uh, on my original continent. Zurich, but what do you know? I believe the tech for getting the um Yeah, it's nuclear fusion. This is odd. Why are all Oh I probably clicked something. Okay, well we're gonna go for satellites after combined arms. And then computers, then nuclear fusion, then mobile tactics, then stealth. That's nuclear fission and fusion. And then finish. Because, yeah, I need to build the Great Firewall in my capital. <laughs> yeah, I know. All of my cities love me. At least all the ones that are unpuppeted. Two, three. Okay, you do get this tile. Trading post. 
or food. You're getting two food, which means it'll be self-sustaining. What's your, what's your, like, extra food? You got a little bit of extra food. I guess I can make this a trade port. Trade post. Make sure that there is just nothing else of any importance. Uh, Chakota, who I think I was already allied with. Otherwise, I think I would have gotten a pop-up or something. And Zurich. Wow, both of the people who provide happiness wanted me to get uranium. Huh. No religions over here? No, Islam. Islam like just spread like wildfire, dang. <laughs> yeah, food there is more important. Grand River should probably have a garden. Two, one, two, two. Okay, well then maybe not. Not making many great people. Uh, just build a medical lab for now. Oh, just for one turn. And then I'll have them in the Pentagon. Route two can't. Oh, well, someone else is building the route. Jeez. Uh, so I don't want it going through. Yeah, we'll just follow this road, I guess. I think Ocel has no strategic resources besides horses. The root of the e Well, actually, that may not be true. I see strategic. It has uh, aluminum in reach, I guess. That's Mecca. I'm. Lo I was looking at Ocel horses. Yeah, that's literally the only strategic resource it actually had in range, which is interesting. A bunch of stuff to lose a ton is ended. So much. So that is. Let's see, how much gold does she have? Uh, 14. I'll just take everything here. Right, so that's one to trade, one to bought, and then 16 per turn. 15. Good enough. Bonjour. Yeah, I got nothing I can trade with you. Or I'm already trading with you. So anyway, there we go. I got some more happiness. Well, not more happiness. I got my happiness back, I guess, technically. And go ahead and delete these roads. Oh wait, oopsies, I forgot to switch your production. Pentagon. Hmm, China's taking over Polynesia. Geneva is in awe of me. So I have the most culture and it's about to go up even more. Why 39? That's interesting. It went up by 39, not 40. Okay, um, here's this forest. Not much else. Uh, medical lab is fine. La France 
t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. I'm not gonna give it to you for squat, ok? Make it worth my while. Bien sûr que non. My golden age cost go up? I think it did. I don't remember flipping a city or anything. Huh. Alright, got more artillery coming up. Right, because I wanted, I think, at least two more artillery. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wait. I would wait till we get to the, uh, build the Pentagon anyway, because I have a lot of units I need to upgrade. By then, I'll probably have other techs, too, so. Hopefully, I can eventually start pumping out units out of my capital again. Which pr might not happen. No, I guess I have a bit of time until I get up to satellites. Grasp on Singapore? I think they're mercantile. And that's not someone I would like to lose contact with. Let's see. Yeah. They want place protection. Well, here's 500 gold. Place to protect. And that should keep me with them for a long, long time. Raj and volley. Get you down here. Yeah, because I wanted at least three artillery, I think it was. Uh, over there, uh, military academy, and it looks like the can also be someplace I can pump out units. I may actually hit a thousand culture per turn coming up in a little bit. Because if I get the 33%, no, because it's 33% on the base, and I'm already probably getting some percentage buffs or boosts. So, it'll probably be closer to 900 instead of 1,000. But then again, it does give three culture on top of it. And I've got like 30 cities, so that's 100 culture. So it probably will be close to 1,000. <laughs> also, come to think of it, I think I can buy a great scientist. I can. The question is, do I wanna? Harvey wants to wait for a great profit and then just kind of clear up all these. Oh wow, they're actually hitting Honolulu. If they take Honolulu for me, that will kind of make my job easier. Um. All right, I settled this city, Salamanca. That's why my happiness needed to go up. Okay, yeah. Um. What was I even talking about, man? Totally lost my train of thought. Ah, uh, I totally forgot, darn it. Oh well. It'll either come to me or it won't, but I, but I don't think it will, given the fact that I don't remember squat about what I was saying a split second ago. Alright. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was the faith, buying the great prophet. So the question is, because I'm going to want to buy him in Mecca, because then he'll have five uses. Um, let's see, I, I'd have to hit like Toulouse as well. I'd have to hit like all of these cities over here. Could hit Honolulu. Let's go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we just hit all of those cities. Although I think, do I, I do have cities that want, yeah, Christianity. So it probably would be better for me to do that instead with him and just go through and do stuff. So these guys want cold, huh? Okay. Going 11 turns. so many artillery. I don't remember why I needed so many. I mean, I guess I could throw like at least one more over here. But this city's not very strong. Oh, I might have been thinking of building a city to, or a force to come over here because this city is a good city. 
One, two, three. It's too far away from that aluminum to work it, but otherwise. Oh, we have a. Did I lose this worker at some point? I really don't recall. Anyway, you move here, and I'll go ahead and upgrade you, even though it's going to cost me a little bit in the long run. Yeah, I really need to save up if the uh, bloody upgrades are going to be that bloody expensive. Okay, so let's see. Um, I guess we got tiles over here. I'm just not going to let us become friendly because I don't want to hold back anymore. I'm getting tired of that. Oh, look, Nara just flipped. I must have got a missionary or something over there. No, we won't. Farms, I want those places to be self self uh, dependent because then they'll just make more people. Finish the medical lab. Wow, okay, well then. Um, I could build triplanes, but I think anti aircraft kind of fit that area as well. Um, having a couple anti aircraft definitely won't hurt. Uh, medical lab is good here. Okay, you. Coliseum, show queue, add to queue. You've got a lot of stuff to build. Are you making great people? You're actually making great people at a pretty decent rate on, to boot. Public school after that. Opera house, medical lab, stock exchange. Okay, good. You've got some stuff to build as well. Lighthouse is pointless. Museum. Research lab, medical lab, stock exchange, barracks, garden. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. And I just noticed a little while ago that, wow, we're actually, like, in months now. I've never, I, aside from maybe the Epic Game Pace, I don't think there is a time that actually has months. Yeah, but anyway, we're doing pretty good, so I'm going to cut the video off here. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.